All right. So I'm going to start with this. I already, uh, uh, if if you want, okay, if you want to focus on this one, okay, uh, go to this view and then work area. Remember the usage of work area. If you have some other model, then you can concentrate only on this particular uh, particular element. Then here, click. So meaning, this is only my, this is the, the work area that I'm going to uh, to concentrate on okay so first is I'm going to add the uh, the main bar so main bar uh, I again I'm going to use the uh, concrete and then rebar and then bar group so here I will put main bar or you can type here bottom main bar mid main bar or top main bar so you can distinguish that one if you like so let's say I, I will type here bottom bottom main bar so I will I will change the size maybe 32 bigger one a little bit bigger and then for the meantime hook zero and then here on plane uh, I can change this on plane zero first and then from plane let's say 100 and then the start will be uh, 50 and then 50 so Number of bars, let's say for, for that one, I can use a uh, number of, uh, let's say, 18, 18 pieces. Okay? So remember, for the main bar, we don't put the spacing. We put the number. Okay? So pick part, and then one, and then two, and then middle button of your mouse, and then here to here. So look, once you add this one, Okay, so, so as you can see here, I can now change the uh, uh, the on plane. I can put here uh, maybe bigger one or maybe 55. Okay, 55. And then from here, I can use now my hook. Instead of, uh, I'll, I'll select 90 degrees and then after selecting 90 degrees, I select custom hook so that I will have the 90 and then the value here. So let's say the value here, I will put again 20. And then this one is uh, uh, 2,500 modify. So let's see. That one is too much. Okay, so I'm going to type here back to, uh, let's say, uh, 1,200 modify. And there you go. Okay, and then as well as the, the uh, this one, Select again 90 and then select custom. That's the way you do it. 20 and then this one is uh, 1,200 and then modify. So you get it? Yeah. All right. Now, this is the main bar. And then for the, uh, for the, this one, I will choose also 55. Enter. So that one is for the prom plane. Now, the top one, Again, this one is the reinforcement for this beam. This one is the CIP. But again, I can copy this one to the top and this one's still the reinforcement of the precast. This one is just a dummy. Okay, it's a dummy. I didn't even uh, uh, add this one to the cast unit. So look, if I select this one, inquire, cast unit, so it's only one. It's not, this one is not included. So in the drawing, this part will not be included. Okay, and then now here I can just simply copy, copy from this point to this point, and then here I will select negative. Okay, go down, and then here <coughs> negative, and then negative. Okay, but the problem is this one. All right, so what I will do is. I'm going to put here, uh, if this one is 32, I can say this one is 90, 90. That's how you remove the, uh, the, the uh, uh, what do you call that, the clashes. Okay, in this case, I can still change this one to 1,400 if I like, and then modify. 
or 1350 so that it will not exceed to the yeah so now I have the main bar okay next this one because I copy that one bottom main bar I will type here top main bar by the way in 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 your drawing there is some coding S1, S2, S3, S4. I don't know if you remember that one. Yeah, the code. So that code, you can always add that one to the user defined attributes and then you type here. Here. S1, S2. Let's say S1. And then the second one is S2, S3. So you can use the uh, right click and then uh, right click and then user defined attributes. You can type this note. Okay, so you, if you have some codes in your rebar, then you put that one in the user-defined attributes. Okay, now, next is the mid bar. So for the mid bar, all I have to do is to copy this one, right click, copy, here, and then put it here. So look, that one is also, that one is also 70 here. But this time, I'm going to type here, no hook, no hook, enter. <coughs> Alright, but again, this, I want to change this one to uh, nine, less 90, uh, 120. 120. Oh, maybe one, 130. Yeah, so that one is the, the rebar there. Okay, clear? So that's the, uh, the first one. Then the, uh, the next one is the link. Okay, again, this one, I, I, go, I can change this one to mid, mid main bar. Then next is the bar group. Again, this time I will choose a, uh, I will type here main link. And what is the size? 10, maybe 20 also, and then the color of this one, I can choose, let's say, green, and then here, uh, I will put 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and then this one will be uh, 35, uh, 100, uh, 35, 35, distribution by target spacing, and what is the target spacing here? 200? Uh, I think 200. Okay, look. Pick this part. And then here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 6. Why? Because it's, it's overlapping. Right? 6. Yeah, middle button of your bar, uh, of, of your mouse. And then pick one and then two. So look, let's see. Yeah. Now, if this one is not enough to cover the, uh, the reinforcement here, so what you can do here is just simply this one. You can increase this one to 150. So that one will, will uh, capture the main bar there. Okay, so next is, next is this one, this, the link here. So for the link here, I can just simply, again, use this main bar, then uh, I will type here INT, intermediate link. So same thing. So click here, one, then one. In case, uh, this, oh, sorry, that one, see, that one is wrong. You can see? That one is wrong because I picked the wrong, the wrong mm -hmm. one. So make it sure that you click the correct position. And then see, see here, 3,000. Then here, here, middle button of your mouse. And then from this point to this point. And then you have now this. this link here 
okay right now for the for the main bar here same thing i can use the uh, for the main bar uh yeah for the main bar here again i can go to the bar rebar so i will type here sidebar side main bar and then the size is let's say 25 so here 90 degrees and then i will put only maybe four four okay so let's try this one click one two middle button of your mouse and then from this point to this point so look so from here uh, I can now change this one to 55 and then uh, 90 degrees custom. custom negative 20 and then let's say this one is 250 modify see and then here uh, on plane is minus 55 all right and then uh, what else this one is custom negative 20 and then 250 I think 250 is not enough because I, I need to have the uh, overlapping there so I'll try here 500 and then here 500 yeah okay is that clear then I can change the color if I like yeah so then again you don't need to repeat just simply copy copy from here to here and then all you have to do is to change the negative to positive and positive to negative see and then here uh, from this one 55 I'll put 90 again Ah, no, 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 sorry, 55, what? this one, 35, uh, 90, it's too much, um, 35, my, uh, 55 plus 25, 80, 80. Ah, it's still too much, eh? 65, yeah, 65, is enough all right then for the next one I'll select select this one select select copy from this point ah sorry copy from this point to this and there you go okay now I think it's almost done. Ah, sidebar. Sidebar here. For the sidebar, you can now, again, go to the uh, bar here. I'll type here sidebar. And then, this time I'll choose 20. And then, I'll choose different color again. Let's say 7. Uh, no hook. No hook. Um, 55, 55, then uh, 65, okay. Then sidebar, how many? One, maybe six. And then pick this part. All right. Then one. And then two. 12,000. Middle button. And then from this point, ah, oh, sorry. From this point to this point. Then this one is your sidebar. So look, uh, I can just simply move this one first here so that I don't need to change. Okay. If you notice now, it's a little bit congested. So what you can do is just simply hide the unnecessary view so that it will be much more cleaner. See? 
much more easier to work, right? Because I, I hide it. Now, if you notice, look, if I, okay, maybe I, I'm going to change this one to eight. Okay, look. There is a bar here and there is a bar there. But we have already the main bar and main bar there, right? Correct. Yeah. We want to remove these two. But because I still need to keep my, uh, I still need to keep this from plane 55. Okay. So to remove these two, there is an option here below. First and last. I'm sorry. First and last. If you click first and last and then modify, look what will happen. So first and last, del deleted, remove. If I say first, only only one will be excluded. If I say last or first and last, then both will be excluded in the view. But it's not it's not it's not there anymore. Huh? Then you can now copy and then put this one here. So you will notice my view is is a little bit uh, clean because I hide the the unnecessary rebar in the view. I just hide it. I did not delete it. So because this is this is one of the factor that uh, when you do the detailing, uh, you have a uh, you spend so much time. Why? Because you rotate, 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 and rotate until you find the uh, the correct view. You cannot get the correct view if you have a lot of elements inside. So use the option to hide. Okay? Remember that one. And then now here, going back to this, I'll put here negative. Alright? And then I'll copy this one. Copy. So from here to here. So look. Look, huh? If I copy from here to here, look what will happen. This one extend, right? So all we have to do is select that handle and then move down. I don't know. It's 5.10. It's okay. 0.1. And there you go. So you don't need to repeat. So this one again, sorry, uh, this one, <coughs> right click, copy from this point to this point. And then select the handle. That handle is very useful. If you know how to deal with that handle, you can play with it. Okay? And then you can do a lot of things. No need for you to uh, re repeat. Alright? And then right click, redraw, and that's it. Almost. Okay? Actually, there's still more uh, a sidebar here, but. Uh, you, you can add that one later in your case. But now, I want to, to, uh, to show you how we're going to add the intermediate. This one is your question. Yes, the first day, uh, I mean during the uh, yeah, uh, last, uh, last, uh, last time. Uh, how to put the intermediate uh, bar. Okay. Now, uh, let me show you first the manual way. Okay. Manual way of adding the, the intermediate bar. So manual way is this, if I select this one and then create uh, views of part, so I'm going to use now this front view, this one, okay? So in this view, in this view, I will choose this one, uh, rebar group. Uh, ah, sorry. I will choose. I will select this one first. Okay, and then choose the rebar group, and then I will type here INT link, inter or intermediate links. Okay, so ten, and then maybe I'll color this one in a uh, different color, like uh, green. This one. All right, uh, cyan. So. Pick the part to reinforce. Again, the part to reinforce is this one. Okay? Okay, before, before I do that one, let me just put this one. No hook. No hook. Zero. 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 And then here, distribution is 200. It's okay. 
All right? I'll put zero, zero so that you can see, you will see the movement, huh? Okay, look. Pick the part to reinforce, this one. And then, pick the shape. So the shape is just straight, but there's a 180 hook, right? So, let's say every other here, I'll put here. Look, I'm going to click here. One. Actually, I can click this point and that point. Or, I can also click the, the edge. Okay, the edge is much better because if you change the size of the uh, uh, the concrete, then it will follow. But it's much easier to click here because uh, there's already a uh, what do you call that a uh, snap. But if you're if you're uh, not going to change the the size of the uh, uh, the concrete, then you click here. So you, you have the choice, huh? You have the choice. Okay. So now let me just click here. One and then two and then middle button of your mouse and then from this one or let's say from here one two can you see this this is the intermediate right so now two change this one here uh, from plane you type 25 let's see so I want to the other side negative okay and then this one I want to have a 180 hook correct so to have the 180 hook I will put here 180 and then 180 Modify. There you go. Right? So, but again, the 180 hook, you can decide here. Huh? You can put here custom and then custom. So, instead of 20, I'll put, let's say, 25. 25, let's see what will happen. Yeah. Nicer. Now, how are you going to, rem to, put, to put there? So, here, here, I'm going to put... Uh, Positive going down, negative, let's say 20. Negative 20. Oh, no. Uh, maybe negative uh, 50. Negative 50. Too much. And there you go. So you have now the, the link. So this one, all you have to do is to change this one to 90 or 100 yeah so that is your that is your links so all you have to do is to right click copy from this point to this point to this point and then for the other side if, if this one is to the uh, on the other side you just, just simply copy <coughs> here so what you need to do here is what negative negative positive is that correct yeah see as simple as that and then copy one two three okay that's enough Oh, sorry. I uh, I overshoot twenty six minutes. Okay. So yeah, that one is the manual way of uh, adding the uh, uh, the links. But uh, earlier I gave you the uh, uh, what do you call that the rebar. the rebar. Okay. Let me just show you how to to use that one the the rebar link, huh? Sorry, uh, I'll again, give me another uh, five minutes to do this. Pit work area. Okay. Uh, here, let me just uh, add this one. And then uh, main bar. Uh, this one, no hook. No hook. Uh, let's say 20. 
and then uh, zero. So, then. All right. So if I have this this one. Okay, and then I will change this one to one five, and then here copy. Negative. Okay, so look, I'm going to first. I'm going to add my rebar bar group. And then here, let's say 10. So let's say I'm going to add my rebar per, uh, my link her, per side. Okay, so this link, if I may change to 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Uh, ah, sorry. Uh, 35, 35, 35. Okay, and then distribution by 200. All right. So look. Now, earlier I give I have given you the stir up. So stir up. Here, there is a place stir up plug in. This, this is the one. Oh, uh, this one, additional one. Addition, the one that I gave you. Uh -huh. Once you type stir up, then you can see this one. So the good thing with this is this. But here, it will only work on the individual, this one, individual bar. So what you can do is, this one, I can copy first, copy, let's say, 100, 200. And then this one, copy 200. Because I copied, uh, yeah, I copied this, uh, this one. This one will, will still my original because what I'm going to do here is I need to ex ungroup this one because this, this stirrups will work only in the individual bar, not on the group. So I need to ungroup this first. The reason why I copy because I'm going to delete this one later and then still use this. Okay, so look, I'm going to right click, ungroup, right click, ungroup. So now, this one is individual bar, right? Mm. All right. So look, if I select this one, select this one, or select this one first. See, what stir up do you want? This one or this one? So of course I like this one. Reinforcement. So you can type the uh, uh, the color. Let's say this one is uh, uh, eight. Okay, and then the size. The grade, you type here H. Okay, start this one or this one. So you can you can also define the uh, the hook, apply, and okay. So pick the main bar. So pick first main bar, and then sec second main bar, and then pick the existing stirrup. If I pick this stirrup, it will use the spacing of the stirrup. Or and then middle button of your mouse. See. And the good, the reason why I pick this tear up, so that it will adjust accordingly, so that it will not hit or clash. You get it? Much easier, right? Much easier. And then uh, again, this one. So apply and okay. So again, one, two, and then pick existing and then middle button of your mouse. Now, if you double click on this one, you can still go back to this and then here, the shape, you can put it negative, negative, uh, uh, you, make, you can make it a custom and then negative, mm -hmm. negative 180 so that it will be on the other side. Okay. Now, what, how about the other stirrup? Let's say this one, this, uh, no, um, I think, uh, let's see if this one works. 
Yeah, how about this one? Okay, H, apply, and okay. So pick the main bar. One, two, three, four. Pick existing, middle button. Ah, I wrongly picked that one. Actually, it should be one, two, three, four. Ah, there you go. See? So that one is the, the stirrup application that you can use. It's available there. In the Tikla warehouse, right? Yeah, actually I gave I, yeah, I have I given this one to you, so you no need for you to go to the Tecla warehouse. Okay, so I got uh, 30 minutes all in all. Uh, so you can now continue with this. So I'm going I'm I'm expecting that you you create almost uh, same as this one so that later on we can add the uh, we can put this one on the drawing. Okay, so that's our main thing. Before end of the day, we must create a drawing of this. Uh, oh, sorry, before the lunch, we must uh, have the drawing. So, uh, 30 minutes enough or 45 minutes. Okay, so continue working and then if you have any questions, just let me know. Again, going back to... Uh, Going back to here, yeah, or sorry, maybe let, let's put it here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I, 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 I will uh, hide this one, hide, right? And then also I'm going to hide all this, yeah? Now, um, Ah, yeah, here. So, let's say this one. This, 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 and this. Or, let me hide also this one. Um, sorry. Again, it's, it's al always better to, to uh, show this one. Mm. So what I'm going to do is to show only, show only this, this, this one, and this. Show only selected. So look, as you can see here, I show only this uh, selected part. Now, if I can, again, if I can copy this one, copy. away from here let's say 200 so the reason why I copy is I need to use that one later so this one again is 200 all right oh sorry copy 200 and then this four this one, two, three, and then four. I'm going to explode or ungroup, right? So now um, I can use a, a cross link, a cross link. Mm -hmm. So using this, using this one, apply and okay. So let's say I pick the third one here, one, and then. Uh, the third one as well here, two, and then select this and middle button of your bar. So look. So as you can see, the diagonal is only along with this core bend. Right? Again, let's do that one again. So this one, and then the main bar is, uh, the secondary bar is, one, two, three, and then this, and then middle button of your mouse, 
and there you go. So now, if if you notice here, now if I'm going to if I'm going to remove this one, if I delete this one, look what will happen. Remove also. So before you remove, before you remove, you need to. You can see the M, this M. You need to right click and then explode. Explode. Yeah. So also this one. Explode. Because I already put the uh, the link. So now I don't need I don't need that one anymore. So what I will do is I'm going to select this one. And then delete. Select this one. Delete. Delete. And then this, I can now move. Two hundred. Right? See? So that's the reason why I move that one. That that one is one of the uh, trick trick here, so that uh, you can still. use the link so the uh, your main your sidebar still intact because i don't want this one to be individually uh, uh, i don't want to be i don't want this one to be individual bar because in the marking later then there will be marking here marking here marking here mark. i want only one mark for that group and also especially if you have some uh, if you're using a primary uh, what I call that uh, license, then the count, the counter, of, the count of this one will be one, two, three, four, five, six. E, wherein, if it is a group, it will be counted as one. Correct. So here, okay, you can do this one manually, as you know. You just pick this point and then. But using this one, if we have this one, then this one is a very good tool for you to use like that. Okay, now. I can right click and then redraw and that's all. See, I have already the the reinforced beam. This one is actually similar to what you, you, your beam actually. Yeah. Almost, almost. Yeah. Okay, so next one you draw the <laughs> so you you continue and then uh, uh, we will create the drawing for this. I don't think we can create this one before lunch, but anyway, after lunch maybe we can uh, create the drawing for uh, this. We can send after lunch we can send it all the drawings. The drawing, yes. Okay, yeah. You just finish this one and yeah, then yeah. Uh, we concentrate on the drawing after okay. lunch. If I save this one as uh, con beam, save us. See, I save it here, meaning that one is in the attributes. So, the good thing with that one is if I want to use it, I can just simply call this one. Apply. So, one, two. And then, even if I put here one, two. See? That's the, that's the usage. See, I have a different length. So automatically it will it will uh, go to that length. Yeah. So again, this one is just an option. Huh? But if you uh, you can still do the uh, the way that we learned uh, earlier. So the thing is, uh, we still use this shape. This one, remember, we create the co the uh, sketch parametric cross section. Mm. Yeah, meaning here, if I change this one to one thousand five hundred and then modify, I don't know what will happen. So, see, the plunge change, and then here, if I change to two thousand, modify. See, I change this one to two thousand. Then here, if you want, you can, uh, I don't know where, can I change the, uh, uh, maybe here, I change this one to 1,800, 1,800, and then modify. Ah, see? Mm -hmm. So, any shape. Okay, and 
as you can see here, the value that I, I use for this particular element. But of course, you can play with the value here. All right, so you can continue with your rebar. And so that, uh, I think whatever rebar you have now is, uh, is okay. Uh, now after, the, after our break, then we will do the, the drawing. Um, an additional uh, information for you, especially if you do the cranking. So what I'm going to do here, remember I send you also the, uh, the file for rebar crank. You type here crank and then you can see here rebar crank. You got it? Then remember the, uh, I mean the other day, uh, when I, I show you how to do the cranking manually, by simply oh. adding the node, right? Okay. So this one is much way better than that because look, I'm going to, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to show only the, I'm going to show only this, this main bar, okay? So look, if I go to top view, and then here, I will uh, do the split. Okay, split, and then select the rebar, and then let's say I'm going to split from here, from here, or let's say from the center. Then as you can see, this one is already splitted. Right? Now, using the rebar crank, if you double click the rebar crank, so here, just by, by simply selecting the first bar group, and then the second bar group, and that's it. You have already the cranking, see? And the good thing is, you can control this one. Let's say, this one I want to be, uh, the, the bending is to the top, there. Yeah, but some of it, uh, the joint of this cranking cannot be the same, like the alternate standard. Then how we do? So we ungroup. Ungroup. Yes. Uh, I, I, will, uh, I, will, I will go yeah. to that one. Huh? Okay, and then the other way is something like uh, if I extend this one to 1000, modify, <coughs> right? Oh, okay. Now, if I'm going to uh, delete this one, or let's say undo. Undo, ah. Uh. Okay, so this one is 12 meters. Okay. Uh, let's say I want 8 meters. And then I want to do, to do the staggered. The staggered every two or every three, depends. You can, you can type now here the splice, this automatic splicing tool. If you double click this automatic splicing tool, so as you can see here, you have now the splicing at the same direction here, right? So I'm going to use 8,000 as the uh, market size. 8,000. So meaning it will identify if this one is more than 8,000 then it will automatically. Split, automatically split. So how you want to do the splitting? So you want to split 1 is to 3. So every 3 or every every 2. Okay? Or every 4. The staggered. So let's say every 3 and then here this is how you can see the uh, the op uh, yeah the option then if you select this one and then uh, perform check to selected so as you can see here uh, there will be 20 size one 12,000 length if you now uh, perform the split to the splice selected uh, what is that input the value bigger by value than zero in the default in length this one? Oh, let's say 1,000 uh, selected. Yeah, so now, as you can see here, automatically it will, see? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. It will be split. But it, this one is not in the, uh, the, uh, the cranking... Uh, area. This one is just a uh, split and splice. Okay? But the cranking is different. 
for the cranking, um, if you want to use that cranking, then you, you need to uh, you need to separate the group. You need to separate the group. So here, lap both or lap left modify. See, lap both. And then parallel on top each other, or if it, if it is on top of each other, it will be like this. And then if it is uh, uh, parallel, or and uh, or you can see this. Uh, okay, there is uh, another way. Let let me undo. Uh, Okay. Uh, splice. So I'm going to select this one. This. Yeah? And then this stands, let's say, 500. And then uh, select. Selected. Ah, oh, sorry. Select. Ah, this one is, should be 8,000. And then selected. And then here, uh, 500 modi uh, selected. So look, now, if you notice here, see, see this one, right? So what I did here is I just simply split that one without any overlapping. So let me try if we can try if we can use the cranking here, this one. So look, apply, pick this one and then pick this one. Ah, yeah, see? Can. And then, what else? Ah, this one, see? One, two. Rebar could, could not be created. Check the rebar, rebar group placement. Okay, that's, that's fine. So, yeah, that's how you... That's how you do the splicing. So this one is 8,000, see? 8,000. This one is 8,451. I don't know why this is 8,451. Because of the, uh, the splicing. This one is 8,000. Yeah. So you can see the, uh, you can see the total length because of this splicing. So you can just simply adjust it. Okay? All right. Okay, now let's uh, move on. So this time we are going to create the the drawing. But before we create the drawing, okay, look, uh, I have I have put this uh, uh, concrete innovator title block here. Okay, this one. So I want you to copy that one on your model folder. Here, just put that one on the, paste that one on the model folder. This concrete, this one, title block, PPL. Okay, creation of this one again is in the advanced. That's why for the meantime, I'm going to create this. Uh, I created this one for you, then you can use it. Okay, this one is for our title block. Okay, so I want you to copy this one to the model folder. Put it in the model folder and then I will show you how we are going to put this title block to our drawing sheet. Okay, so there you go. You can uh, look for the con in ino title uh, block PPL. So to create the drawing, first of all is you need to run the numbering. So this one, you have to click number modified object. So this is the first thing to do when you create the drawing, uh, before you create the drawing is to run the numbering. So kindly click this one, number modified object. Perform numbering. Perform, oh, perform numbering. Okay. Then number modified object. Don't click. That's it. Done. As simple as that. 
So what's the uh, uh, what's the usage of numbering or what's the function of numbering? Numbering means the system will automatically assign the piece mark to each and every object or to each and every element. First, if you have uh, if you have 100 beams, the system will automatically as uh, the system will automatically assign the the cast unit mark for the beam. Let's say B1, B2, B3. If if it is uh, different than B1, B2, B3, B4. If it is same, then it will be quantified. Let's say two pieces of B2, three pieces of B4. So the system will take care of that one. Sometimes. There's a human error on this numbering. When you do the numbering, okay, I'll put this beam. Uh, it looks like similar to me. I will put three pieces of this beam. Then suddenly, when you are doing the uh, when the when the checker check your uh, your drawing, he will tell that hey, this one is totally different okay. beam. This one has a cut. So you, sometimes you forget that there is a cut. So if there's a cut, then it should be a different number, okay? But the system will take care of that. Similarly, with the reinforcement numbering. Imagine how many reinforcement you have. The system will automatically assign the piece mark, the reinforcement marking. So it will give you the, uh, the bar 1, bar 2, bar 3. If it is similar, sometimes we thought that, sometimes here, we thought that this bar is similar to this bar. We just put here one piece mark, but basically this one is a different uh, rebar mark. Okay, so that's how the numbering works. Okay, so now once you run the numbering, look. If I select one of the rebar and then inquire, so look, it will give me the the rebar number. Ah, sorry, the rebar number here is mark number four zero forty. Okay, and then this is the rebar length, the total length, and then this one is the bar bending schedule already. For, I need 40 pieces of T10, shape 51, mark 40, shape code 51. Okay, imagine if, how about, how about this one, this main bar? This main bar, if you're doing this one manually, how many minutes it will take for you to give me the total length of this main bar? You need to get this value, get this value, get this value, add, and then you get it. But here, you can just simply inquire, and then you will get the total length. Okay. At the moment, I did not put any splicing here. Eh? Okay. Later, we can, we can add, we can do the sample splicing here. Okay, so now... Uh, now that we run the numbering, okay, I want you to go to the drawing properties and then click the drawing layout editor. Click, pick, okay, select the drawing layout editor. So now we're going to set up your drawing. Okay, at the moment, at the moment, we have a default one here, but I want you to create layout. So, Create a new drawing layout. So you type here your drawing layout. Let's say con, con ink. Okay. Con ink. Uh, let's say CU. Con ink CU. So meaning con ink uh, cast unit. And then drawing size. A1 maybe. Alright. And then here cast unit. Oh, no, 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 but this one, no, here, uh, forget about that one, here, we concentrate first here, and then click here, create, remember, uh, the, the file name that you put, I'll put here capital C, C U. okay, and then create, hit create, now, look, it's empty, so as you can see here, the uh, the conic CU should be under the cast unit drawing. So remove the the other drawing. You can put that one to the cast unit drawing and GA drawing. Okay, GA drawing. G 
J drawing is erection drawing. Huh? Okay. Now, um, we don't have the table yet. Table means the template. Okay. Template means the title block. The title block that I have give you, given to you. So, that title block, when you put the title block or the TPL to your model folder, automatically you can see it here. When you click this add table, you can see that title block that I have given to you here at the bottom. This one. Con Inov block. Can you do that one? Add. Click the add add table and then look for the look for the yeah. con in a block. Yeah. Okay, select that one. Select. No, no. Select and then close. Select. Okay. Now you can see the cross here. Yeah. Okay. Look. This cross here. If you move, if you put the cross here at the bottom here. Snap at the bottom corner. Okay? If you snap on that one, then you can see that you have now the your title block. Oh, so actually this one is uh, AutoCAD. Yes. But of course, it's not it's not directly the AutoCAD. I I uh, did this one in the uh, in the template editor first, which is something like the again the advanced thing. Uh. Okay? So, everybody got it? How about the others? Did you manage to, to see this one? Your uh, conic? <coughs> but, but my logo for Conico, it doesn't appear. Uh, okay, your logo uh, doesn't appear because this one is saved only in my oh, computer, okay. the JPEG. The JPEG file is saved only in my computer. Oh, okay. okay. So that one, I mean, later we can uh, we can discuss okay, that okay. one. Huh? Okay. Uh, yeah. For the meantime, that one is white. To change that one to black color, actually, this one, if I press B, then now B, we have the B, same B? same black. B -N. Yeah. Okay. No, because for you, you haven't that that computer is not yet set to block. Oh. Only mine. Okay. So to do that one. Uh, anyway, let let us finish this one, and then I will show you how to change that, how to have a black color. Okay. So I will put this one in white so that everybody will be white. Okay. So now. If we're happy with this one, for the meantime, this one is our uh, standard, okay? So, all we have to do now is to save us, save us, save layout us, conic CU, and then save. Okay? Save here. You're overwriting existing? Yes. And then close layout editor. Remember, what we have done is only the cast unit for A1 only, huh? for A1. Actually, with that conic table, we can put A1, A2, A3, and so on. But at the moment, we focus first on that one because our lesson for today is to create the drawing, not, not the template. This one is just a bonus for you to, to, uh, to have that uh, layout editor. Okay? So now, uh, let's create the the drawing for this. Huh? Okay. Uh, our, our, our screen is still the same. You come back to the drawing. Yeah, just close, close. Oh, just close. close fine. Here, close. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Now. Let's close. So, everybody ready? Okay. So, I want you to go to the drawing properties and then select the cast unit drawing. Cast unit, okay. mm, unit drawing. So by default, by default, I have only three. We have only three setting there. Mold and rebar. Okay? But we are not going to use that any any of this. 
or maybe we just use the standard. Okay? Now, look, from the standard, I want you to put the name here. What, what is the name of that one? Beam, beam, uh, portal frame. Portal frame? Yeah. We call it portal frame. Portal so frame. we call it portal frame. Let's say portal frame details. Or, uh, yeah, because portal frame, let's say, uh, first is portal frame mode. Okay? And the sheet number is one. And then here, I want you to type here, let's say, PF mode. Uh, 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 let's say portal uh, portal mold drawing and then save us see portal mold drawing and then save so meaning uh, the name of your drawing will be portal frame mold that one is the sheet number one and then later on when we create the sheet number two it will be portal frame rebar and then the sheet number three will be portal portal frame sections. And then sheet number four could be portal frame BBS. That's what your drawing is, right? Mm -hmm. For the meantime, let's focus first on the mold. Okay? <laughs> so meaning we're going to show only the mold, I mean the section and its dimension. Okay? So now, under the layout, under the layout, here, look, under the layout. This is what we have done earlier. So, layout, select the cast unit. Connect cast unit. Okay, and then remove the auto size, select the specified size, and then select the A1. And then save us. And then save. That's one. Save here or save here? Just save, just save here, save. You can save this one also if you like. Oh, save here. You can type here, let's say, cast unit A1, because it could be A2, A3, and A4. Okay? Whatever you can save, save it. Don't worry about it. And then the scale, under the scale, I don't want to use the auto scale, because I don't want the software to, to, do the, uh, uh, to decide the scaling for me. Even though it's uh, possible, but I don't want to. I want to, to do my own scaling, so I'll put no, and then save. Whatever you do, save. And then the other, okay, the others. So, uh, project uh, projection type, it could be third angle or first angle. First angle, if you select first angle, meaning if you show the, the front view and top view, it will be front view and then top view. Third angle will be top view and then front view. Okay, at, at least in the tech, in Tecla setting. Huh? So now, align section with the main view. So do you want, let's say, if this one is your portal frame, you want the section on the side or because this one is big, then for me, I would suggest that don't align that one to the main. Let it be no. So meaning the section, because there will be a section automatically, it will be below. But if you like, if you have a smaller, let's say for for facade or small beam, small column. Usually, if you have the, the beam, if you say align section with the main frame, if this one is the main frame, then the section will be side by side. Okay, but in this case, because the, our portal beam is big, so I want to utilize the length of the paper size. So let the section to be on the other location. All right, and then you just say yes, save, and then uh, this one say no, don't don't align. Now let's move on to the create view creation. View creation. So for the view creation, do you want to show the front view? Yes. So show the front view on, and then type here uh, front view. Type front view. Do you want to show the top view? Yes. And then you type the plan view or top view. Let's say plan view. Okay. Bottom view, no. Off. Back view, off. End view, on. Uh, end view and section view, turn it on. And then 3D view, let's turn it off for the meantime. Okay. 3D view. Off, off, on, on. Okay. Yeah. Because... 3D view, we can turn it on if you like, but at the moment, let's turn it off because I'm going to show you also the other way of adding the 3D view 
in that we can control the angle because this one you cannot control the the angle of the 3d view here okay so look under the view properties at the moment it is a standard cast unit standard by default so i'm not going to change it okay we're not going to change it for the meantime let it be there okay we don't know what will be the setting but let it be there later we can change okay so if you're happy with this one then save and that's it that is the the initial setup for the drawing okay so meaning when you create the drawing there will be a top view there will be a front view there will be a section view but the presentation of the drawing we don't know yet because it will use the default this one we can do that this one later okay we can present our drawing according to our uh, preference okay so at the moment save and then apply and then okay click okay now press control l control l Okay, so control L, this one is the document manager. Uh, this was known as drawing list before. Drawing list, but now it's a document manager. Why document manager? Because this one can handle also the reports. The report can be seen here. If you create the reports, it will be seen here. Later, we, we're going to create the report. It, it can be uh, accessed here. Okay, even some... PDF drawings can be, I think, can be accessed here because that one is all documents. Now, uh, you click here, drawings. Okay, you can you can see here all documents, all file, all drawing, single part drawing, cast unit drawing. Okay, so you can you can filter this one according to the type of the drawing. So let let's say all files. Huh? So now we don't have the drawing yet, right? So let's create the drawing. How to create the drawing? All you have to do is select this beam select the beam you you put it down first you you put this uh, this one down here and then select the beam and then right click create drawing select the beam right click create drawings okay cast unit drawing cast unit drawing okay and then click cast unit drawing okay are you following okay. everybody okay now the system will will draw for us because we did already our job the modeling then the system will draw for us so uh, all drawings yeah here all drawings you put all drawings so as you can see here see the name portal frame mold, mold and then the size is a1 okay and then here pc dash one what is dash one page one okay and then here you have the cash unit drawing document and then what else the type is c for concrete or cash unit and that's it all you have to do is double click on the drawing everybody got the drawing okay double click and there you go so you have now the the drawing. Yes, Double click, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double click. Yeah, double click. Oh, it's on the. Oh, only this one. Okay. Don't worry about the uh, the presentation yet, uh, first, uh, because uh, we haven't done anything yet. Okay. So close. So close that drawing list, or the yeah. So look, so the our dimension is uh, okay because of the uh, as I told you, we have a huge uh, part. That's the reason why it's more than the drawing sheet. So we need to we need to change the uh, the scaling for this. Okay, before we move further, 
uh, to make it black and white, press the control E. Okay, under the control E, you go to the drawing view. See here, draw this one, draw it. look for the drawing view. Okay, under the drawing view, on the right side, you can see here, XS black background, make it true. Oh. True. And then apply and okay. Now, close this drawing, close this drawing and open it again. Close this drawing here. Yeah. Drawing, huh? not the model, huh? only the drawing. And then open again, control L. Control L. Yeah, open again. Then click this one. Yes. So now you can type B. Ah, yeah, it's already black. Now if you press B, it will become white. Here. Okay. Any question? Huh? The drawing title? You don't you don't have the drawing title? Uh, different uh, presentation because we have a different size of our beam okay some of you has a smaller beam some of you has a bigger beam okay don't worry so uh, yeah bigger beam so in that case if it is a bigger beam yeah this one is just nice I think the for size I think it's also it's just uh, fitted for me I mean I have anyway it's okay because okay look the next, the next part is, is this. The next part is I'm going to isolate. If you select this blue line, blue line, you put it outside. Okay. The next part is to isolate this. So meaning, instead of 15, I can kindly double click on the view properties of this, of this one. Ah, by the way, okay, listen, uh, can you close it? Let me just show you first the different, hi the hierarchy of this uh, view. Huh? Okay, look, if, if I double click on this view, huh? okay, listen, huh? if I double click on this view, this one is the cast unit drawing properties. This is the, uh, uh, what do you call that, the control for the whole drawing. Okay, the whole drawing. Now, if I want to control only a particular blue view, then I need to pick on this, this uh, view, view properties or viewport. Okay? So this one is the view properties. This setting, this setting only uh, affects the one I selected. Okay? That is the first is the general view or the cast unit view properties. Second is the view properties. After this, then the next one is the, if you select this one, double click. This one is the part properties. Mm -hmm. 
You get it? So that one is the the hierarchy. Ah. From the cash unit properties, which is control the all, then next is control the view, the view part, and next is the drawing part. Control the the drawing part itself. Okay. But now, uh, at the moment, we are going to control as the view properties. Just double click the view properties. Okay. Let's. Let's discuss this one, uh, one by one. Uh, I will, I will uh, explain some of these settings so that you will understand what is the usage of these settings and how how this one will be affected if I change something here. Okay. Okay. Earlier, earlier in our cash unit properties, in when we create the front view, top view, and so on, we use the standard cash unit. Correct. Mm. So this is the standard cash unit. Okay? Now, instead of ca in standard cash unit, I want to save my own setting. Our own setting. So what will be our own setting? So we can type here, let's say, uh, con, or let's say, con, con, uh, let's say, uh, prompt view. Let's say, con prompt view, or portal prompt view. Portal front view. Okay? And then save. So meaning, when I save that one, con portal front view, meaning I'm going to use that one later in my cash unit. Let's say if I select the front view, side view, top view, it's, it's instead of selecting the standard cast unit, then I'm going to select this one because this one is the one that I'm going to set up or modify. Okay? So now, the first thing I'm going to do here is change my scale because my scale is too big. If you notice here, my, my scale is too big. So I want this, this one to be only up to here. So to do that one, I can change this one to 25 and then modify and save. So is 25 is enough for me? Yes, 25 is enough for me. For the others, I don't know if 25 is enough for you. If not enough, then you, you make it 30. If not enough, you make it 40. You get what I mean? Because we have a different size of the beam. So, actually, here, if I change this one to 20, I think it still work. Yeah. Late 10%, we, we still need to put in, right? If, if, if it is... Yeah, for, for, bigger, for you, the, because for you, you have a longer yeah. longer beam, then you need to, to have a bigger uh, value for your, uh, uh, maybe 40, and then modify. But why never move? Click modify, below. Uh, you move up and then modify. Ah, oh, it's too oh, much. Too small. Too small. Maybe uh, 35. And then modify. Until you reach the, 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 the part desired. that uh, yeah, the desired. Uh, maybe 30 is still okay. But of course, that one is. Uh, Later on, you can save a different scale, and then all you have to do is to, to select. Okay, now it's okay. Then save, save here. Save, save. So once this one is okay for you, then oh. click save. Oh, go to you go to the file, right? Go to the file from before. Then this one. Uh, but I think uh, when oh. you go to the file, it will change. So better to keep that one. That's why, yeah, keep it uh, thirty, and then save. Save, save, save. See. Okay, following. Okay. And then, and then bring over over there. Uh, no need. Just uh, do that one from here first. Okay. okay. So now the next thing is is what? Uh, the next thing is if you look onto these dimensions. Okay. I don't want to put any dimensions at the moment. So you go to this dimensioning, and then I want you to 
the, remove this integrated dimension. So I want you to remove this, delete, and then modify. So look, all the dimensions will be will vanish. So I don't have any dimension at the moment. Dimensioning, dimensioning. You go to this dimensioning, okay, and then remove that uh, that uh, setup. What means very well? We, we delete that. Delete, yes. Then save. Modify. 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 And save. Oh, okay. You need to select uh, before you modify because look, look, if I don't select this one, then the modi I cannot select the modify here. So make it sure that you select the view port and then modify. Okay? Modify na ba sa Modify na Okay. Okay. So next, next. The next thing is uh, okay. Under the part, under this part, you can see here the fill. Under the part, you can see the fill. Objects part. Okay. Uh, so the section, you click none and then modify and then save. Part. Yeah. All go to fill. Fill section. Section. Why I put none? none? Because. Look, if there is some automatic here, if there's a section like this, see, there will be a hash, hash, a hatch. Ah, okay. All right? So I don't want to have a hatch here. Now, next is under... Then save, right? Then save. Always save, always save. Okay. Why, why we need to save? Because later on, we're going to use that one. So we don't want to miss something that we want to use. That's why I save. But this one is, you do it once per type, and then later... You can you can use that one, okay? As long you have a proper naming convention. Now, next is uh, uh, okay. What if in my con in my appearance, instead of this green color, the green color of my object, I can choose a different color. I want if I want red, then modify, then this one will become red. See. The, my main object is red. So it depends what color you want to put on the on this one. You get it? So this one is something like a line type coloring, but we have a very uh, limited line type here. Okay? So red. And then for your uh, reinforcement, okay, so we're done with this one. So let's move on to our uh, reinforcement. For the reinforcement, okay, say ba. Remember, our uh, okay. Remember that this front view. Actually, I need to rename this one as a front view mold. Mold drawing, huh? Remember, this one is for the mold drawing. So mold drawing doesn't need to show the reinforcement inside. All it needs to show is the what the reinforcement which is exposed. The exposed reinforcement. So how you're going to do that? Okay, look. Under the uh, under the reinforcement here, under the reinforcement. So this is the okay, if I zoom in, huh? if I zoom in. If you look onto the uh, content of the reinforcement, under click the reinforcement. Okay, everybody is in the reinforcement. Reinforcement visibility of the reinforcement bar, visible. If you don't want to show the reinforcement, not visible and then modify. See? Okay, if you want to uh, visible, then select visible and then modify. Okay?
Next is, uh, okay, the representation of the reinforcement. It could be single line, double line, or field line, or stick. So, I want to use double line. Modify. So, is it nicer if it is double line? Right? Uh, I don't know why my, why the main bar is not. It's not the the main bar, huh? the the top bar is not there. Anyway, uh, I I will see that one later. Huh? Okay, look. Now, if you look onto this uh, visibility of reinforcing bar. Now I I'm uh, discussing this one to you one by one. So you need to to uh, pay attention on here on this. If I say all and then modify, what will happen? All the reinforcement will be shown. Right? The question is, do you want that one? Alright? So, if not, then you just use the first and last bar. And then modify. Okay? Now, next, since this one, we're talking about the mold. We only want to show the exposed reinforcement. The exposed reinforcement, meaning the reinforcement which is outside the beam. Okay, so if you click this behind parts, click this on, and then modify. So look what will happen. See? So now my drawing is much more cleaner. Right? Much more cleaner. And then, of course, you need to save it. So another issue here is... Uh, Another issue here Okay, another issue here is This marking, I don't want to show this marking Okay, so how to remove this marking of the reinforcement So, I want you to go to the reinforcement mark Okay, reinforcement mark So at the moment, we have the uh, we have the marking here. So if you want to if you want to retain this marking, if you want to use this marking later, I want you to save here, let's say con mark. Con rebar mark. And then save. Because now I'm going to delete it. Huh? But since you save that one, later on you can call it back. That's the good thing. Save it and then later on you can call it back. Because now at the moment I'm going to select this one and then remove. And then that one is for the single. For the group, I'm going to select and then remove. And then for the, if, if it is the mesh, select and then remove. Now, once you remove that one, if I select this one and then modify, look, all the reinforcement marking will be removed, deleted. And then save, save again. I hope you can you can uh, still remember what we are doing. Huh? I'm I'm uh, discussing this one step by step, from uh, from the scale to the dimensioning to the changes of the uh, hatching and changes of the color and now changes of the reinforcement to make it uh, all or first and last and changes of the uh, what do you call that? If I want to to make the reinforcement uh, marking disappear, okay? So I hope you remember that one, okay? Now, if you go back to the reinforcement, you can also change the color of this reinforcement if you like. Just simply go to the bar appearance, and then here, you can change it to yellow if, as you like. So whatever color you, you want, then you can change. So look, this is my reinforcement now. I, I don't want you to copy what color uh, I'm putting here, but if you want, you can, you can choose a different color so that you can see how it works, okay? Then save. So now, uh, I have already the, the mold for, for our beam in the front view. Okay, so look, for the mold, for this mold, I want to put 
a dimension. I want to put the dimension. Okay. First of all, first of all, I can put a dimension here manually using the dimensioning here. Here, dimensioning. There is a dimensioning tool. Horizontal. Okay. Horizontal. Then, let's say, one, two, middle button. And then, one, two, three, four, middle button. And then, you can now have this, these dimensions. Right? These dimensions. Now, if you notice, these dimensions is a bit... Uh, um, a bit small, I can change this appearance to uh, maybe 350 and then modify, yeah, and then save us to standard. 3.5 and then save. save to standard. Or modify, that and save. modify and then save. Okay, now. So meaning, when I save this one to standard, so meaning the, the next dimension that I put here, look, if I put the dimension again. Okay, so let's say here. Uh, ah. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, get ready uh, because I'm going to give you the. Uh... Okay, now it's okay. So look, if I click this one and click this one. Ah, oh, why? Why it's. Ah, because I did not apply. If you apply this one, okay, save and then apply and then okay. So meaning. When you apply, then meaning if you click on this one, it will be same. same. Okay? And then you save that one to standard, then later on when you add the automatic dimension, then it will be 3.5. Okay. Uh, now, let, let, let us uh, move on. Uh, but again, again, uh, I'm go after this, I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you an exercise here. Uh, so that, uh, uh, I want you to remember this one so that when I give you the exercise, you will just repeat what we have done for this. Okay? For this. Okay. Look. Next is we save it and then you go to the, this dimensioning. So now, earlier, when, when you saw what I did, is I picked the dimension one by one, right? One, two, three. Actually, we can put, for the general dimension, we can create an automatic dimension automatic dimension first of all here if you go to this dimensioning so if you look if you add row if you add row and then under this dimensioning type you click overall dimension go to this dimensioning add row here add row and then under the dimensioning type select overall dimension and then these properties you can you can uh, change these properties just simply click edit rule hmm? okay look you will notice that there is a box here with these dimensions so meaning this represents your object and this one are the location of your dimensions it could be the dimensions on the top, the side, the bottom, and then there could be a link dimension. So, in our example, we don't want we want the dimension to be at the top and then at the left side. So, meaning the check will be at the top and the left side. But I don't want the link. So, click this unlink, unlink the dimension. All right. So the start point. Now look, the dimension properties we save to standard. Right? But there is an option there. If you want to, to create your own sizes, you can rename that one. You save at 
you save that one to your name. Let's say, for example, Dennis underscore 5.0. Meaning, 5.0, that is the height, right? So you can, that's why I, I've shown you earlier that you can change the height and then save it. But uh, at the moment, I save that one to the standard, okay? So that I don't need to change. Now, here, look, what is dimension, overall dimension? And then we can now save this one as con underscore con underscore uh, overall dim and then save us clear and then close it so now look under the properties I want you to select con overall dim and then modify select select again the blue the uh, the viewport and then modify so look what will happen yes there you go so now you can see this one is the, uh, the dimension and this one is the dimension okay you can you can pull that one later here if you like okay because that one is the dimension for the concrete so now let me add additional actually the dimension here is only two for the mold the overall dimension and the shape dimension because I need the shape dimension that 1000 that uh, that one one five okay the shape of the beam so I need that one so I need to add row and then this time I will choose shape dimension and then under the uh, properties I'm going to edit rule again edit rule so where do you want to put the shape dimension on the part on the four four side top bottom and two sides right but this time uh, uh, okay all faces then that's fine so I, we don't need to change anything but I just need to type here con shape underscore dim I just need to rename this I just need to save that one so that I can call this one on my I can call this one as my own and then close and then select again con shape Okay, make it sure that you save that one to the view. And then select. Select. And modify. Yeah? Hindi mo na-save siya. Hindi, baka na-save. Hold down, hold down. Hold down, hold down. Dito. Ah, wala ka. Save mo muna siya. Save lang. Save the same as 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 the 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 Okay, look, listen. If we want to inter interchange the position of this one, we need to put this one above the overall. So how to do that one? Select the move up. And then modify. So look. Here, this one. Look, this, look at these two. It will change. No. <laughs> okay. Now it will change, and then don't forget to save your view properties, huh? Okay, so look, once it's changed, then I can now pull that one up, and here I have now the, I have now this, I have now the view, a quite, yeah, see. So look at the view, quite nice. See, you have the dimensions, you have the dimensions here, dimensions here. If you have some lifting anchor, then you can put also the, those dimensions. But at the moment, we, we have only this.
Alright, so now, um, okay, some something is missing here. Eh? The uh, I think the main bar here. Okay, let me check. Ah, huh? let me check before I give you the. Uh, uh, I'm going to save and then apply. Okay. Uh, let me check if that one is part of my. I remember this one inquire ah okay because I copy because earlier I copy this part to this to this uh, CIP then it becomes part of the CIP so all I have to do is this select this one right click and then un uh, detach and then select again and then right click attach to this part okay did you get what I uh, did here? No. Okay. Because, okay, what happened is... How to, uh, the first thing is how to go to the model. Uh, you close the, you close the drawing. Okay. Mm. okay, look. What happened is because this one, this one, I copy this one above, automatically it <laughs> will identify that there's a concrete there. It will attach to that concrete where I copy. Now, what I will do is select this one and then detach. And then right click again and then attach to part, which is this one, the bottom beam. Okay? So once you attach that one, if you open the drawing, look, if I open the drawing, automatically it will ask me again the per to perform the numbering. Just simply click OK. Then the system will automatically update our drawing yeah so look yes see this one I got it back Okay, now your exercise. Exercise. Again, uh, I want you to repeat this, what we did here. I want you to repeat what you did here for our section. Yes, this section. And then save that one to Conic Section View. You get it? I want you to repeat what we have done for our front view to this section and then save that one as conic section view. Okay? Do that one. So, 30 minutes? 15 minutes? Uh, 20 minutes. Okay. This one, as, as I've mentioned to you, you can... You can do the uh, you can do the same here, okay? Actually, in this case, uh, I can still use my uh, I can still use this one. Eh? I can still use the uh, the one that I saved this one, but instead I'm going to change this one the portal section view and then save. Huh? As simple as that. If if it is almost the same, and then look what I will do. Select this one and then modify and finish. Okay, see? And then all I have to do is just simply move this one and then put it there. And that's it. I have already the, the section view. This one is still mold, huh? mold. If you notice, I don't have the marking for the reinforcement. The, the next one that we're going to do is for the reinforcement. Okay, look. Now, what is the, what is the final outcome of this? So look, this one, again, this one is for the view properties. Okay, 
So if I double click on this one and then I choose I choose the uh, again I'm going to select the standard and then say yes modify I will go back to the, the default one I will go back to the default I choose the standard so <clears throat> okay let's see yeah see I choose the standard right now remember remember I select the uh, the portal drawing okay when you select the portal drawing then front view and plan view so this one I'm going to change the st standard cast unit instead of standard cast unit I will change that one to portal front view now if I have the portal top view then I will choose the portal top view but since I did not create one then let me choose again the front view but again ah, for the front view setting could be different to the top view okay so you must create the top view ah. so in this case I, I just use the same same setting for the top view and front view don't worry about it for the meantime and then for the end view I will choose the section view and then this one is also section view and then save save ah. And then now, look, look what will happen if I click say yes here and then modify. So continue. So look what will be the outcome. So now, once I have this portal mode drawing, it, when I create the drawing, automatically it will be the setting that I set, that I set up earlier. Okay? So it will be a front view with a connect, con, uh, conic uh, portal front view. Top view with the same uh, view properties, then uh, end view and then section view with a portal section view properties. Okay, so let's see. Did I? Okay, so it's still it's still running because if you notice here, now it's reading a lot of uh, reinforcement there. So let's see. But again, compared to if you're doing this one manually, then still faster. So look. And then all you have to do is just move this one a little bit here. All right. And then this one. So maybe I can delete one of these because no need. So now I have the I have the mold drawing. You get it? So automatically it will be it will be this drawing. So now the missing thing here is is what? The 3D view. So how to create the 3D view? So look, to create the to add the 3D view, just go to this view. Go to the view, and then view part, so select this 3D view. View part. View part, and view part, 3D view, select. So look, this is the 3D view. All you have to do is double click on this. Okay, double click. And then, once you double click on the 3D view, you go to the attributes, and then change the scale. First, the scale of this one could be uh, 75. Let's see, 75. Uh, maybe uh, 65. Okay, so you will notice it's still a front view. But here, this is the one that I want to show you. If I type here 30 and then 30, 30 degree, 30 degree to the X and Y, and then see here, you have now the 3D view. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so your mold drawing is ready. Oh, like this side. Hmm? Like this side. Yeah, yes.
-hmm. You can just turn on the uh, the, 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 the reinforcement. Uh, you can change that one. Huh? Here, you can change the label here. See? Oh, so it's then it's five now become ten. Okay. Uh, you don't have. I think you don't have the label there. The uh, this one, A one, A one. Oh, A one. Yung A1 set po, pwede nyo lagyan ng name yan. Pwede, oh, pwede ka mag-type, yes. Pwede ka mag-type dyan. Ito, uh, 3D. Lagyan mong 3D. Uh, 3D. And then modify. Ah, select mo yung blue. Ay, ayun. Uh, select ko na. Oh, uh, masyado malaki dahil 10 nilagay mo. Ayan, okay lang. Okay. okay. So, yeah. So, this is the, this is the, uh, the one. Now, if you want to, if you want to change the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, this one. If you want to make it smaller, 25, then you, you change that one to this. And then same. Okay, and then also to the section, section view, 25. And then same. So once you save that one to the attribute, and then if you double click this view and then uh, recreate again the drawing then this one will be smaller I want a little bit smaller because later on uh, I want to have a space to add my uh, to add the reinforcement mark that's the reason why I want to make it smaller See, now I have a smaller one. Then, uh, once I'm okay with this one, so look, you have already the mold drawing, right? You have already the mold drawing. So what I can do is close this one and say yes. So this time, we are going to create the reinforcement drawing, the rebar drawing. Okay, so rebar drawing meaning we need to show the reinforcement in our drawing. So if you go to the drawing manager, so look, under this, oh, why it's still standard, huh? uh, properties, title, eh, why become standard? This one is something like a uh, portal, portal frame details. Okay, save, and then modify. So you can modify the name, even it's not open. Okay, so now, um, okay. If you click on this one, Portal Prima, right click, you can see here, <coughs> copy <coughs> to new sheet. <coughs> so meaning, it will duplicate, copy, to new sheet okay so look once you copy to new sheet you can see here pc-2 okay dash 2 now now you double click on this so this one we can now change again okay from here okay from here we're going to select this one and then Type here rebar, rebar drawing, and then save. Okay, portal frame rebar, and then save. So remember, this one is sheet number two. I did not do anything but just copy, and then now I'm going to change this one to portal frame rebar, and then this one save to rebar drawing. Okay, so now after putting this one. So I can now edit this, editing this, meaning I need to remove again, okay? I need to remove the dimensioning here, remove the dimensioning, 
okay and then modify and then this time I will say portal rebar okay save so now since we are talking about portal since we're talking about rebar then this time I will use the reinforcement reinforcement okay and then here I will turn on turn off this one make it sure that you save that one and then modify okay so look you have the rebar and then I will go back to my rebar mark and then load the one that I saved remember we save it I told you to save it so that you can call once you call it and then modify then it will it will show the reinforcement now see it will show this reinforcement all right so once you have this reinforcement now uh, this one should be saved okay save and then apply and okay So again, you can do the same with the uh, marking for the uh, top view and front view, but at this point of time, again, I'm going to use the, under the view creation, instead of portal front view, I will use the rebar view. So I hope you get my point now. Huh? Then this one is rebar. All to be rebar. And then save. Say yes. And then look modify say yes and then this one will become a rebar drawing now see see this one is a rebar drawing yeah so this one is shift to right huh? page two right this one is the page two now it's rebar drawing now for the rebar drawing then you must need to do some 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 more work here okay this is the work that you need to to do uh, remember the uh, if you remember the uh, projalma drawing but projalma drawing that one is uh, they, they do different way I don't know why they they don't use this way yeah uh, in, in tecla structure I, uh, I don't I don't know why they maybe they they don't explore okay if you want to isolate the uh, uh, if if you want to isolate this one with with a cut and bend, okay, tecla structure has this uh, uh, what is that uh, application wherein you can do this rebar pull out this one rebar rebar pull out this rebar pull out okay look if I double click on this one let's say this no number, no number. Uh, no number so if you notice here how do you want to put the rebar pull out so like a uh, rebar geometry or if you want with the uh, with a uh, with a uh, radius okay uh, the color same same line pattern meaning same here or if you don't want then you can change the color to other color let's say green okay and then uh, uh, marking so what you want to put on marking so do you want to have a uh, uh, the the name uh, sorry not the name the uh, the grade and then the diameter okay and then uh, let's say if you want to put a uh, length maybe we put the uh, the text dash okay and then the length it depends what you want huh? okay and then dimension do you want to create dimension yes this dimension will be shown so if you apply and click OK so what you can do is this select this one and then I don't know if this is the one uh, 
Ah, sorry. Uh, uh, above, this one above. Select that one and then draw. When you select this one and then... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Not this one. It's... Uh, Ah, it 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 draw it draws a lot. <laughs> wow, why it draws a lot? Okay, undo. Control Z, right? Uh, Control Z, yeah. It should not be drawn a lot. Eh? I don't. I I think I. Uh, I select the wrong one. There is one simpler one. Eh? Okay, so I think uh, this one, pick the point, ah, sorry, select this one, this, and then pick the point. If I click here, I think I need to use this one and then modify. And then, uh, wait, huh? Mm. Oh. Double line. Modify. Yeah, double line. But I think there's something that vertical, horizontal, modify. Okay. I still uh, forgot what I did earlier. Anyway, again, let me delete this one. Here, rebar pull out picture. If you go to this dimension, uh, say this one. Okay, apply. And then uh, select this. Pick this one. Ah, yes, that one. Huh? Why it doesn't go to the... I think there's something that... Uh, okay. Um... Uh, did here ah there there's some something like uh, there's an there's an option here that you need to that you need to select apply so you will notice here that you have the t25 and then this is the length and then this is the uh, the uh, the bending and this is the the length for this now if you select this one and then here pick again this one now it select it you will be this one now is for the for the links but again you can uh, you can explore on this uh, rebar pull out okay rebar pull out and also Another thing here is uh, this one. Uh, uh, another another thing here is this this link. If you want to do the marking, okay, there is a marking here, okay. But if you select these links, this one, this one, right click, and then you add dimension mark. So you can you can see that these are the. Uh, the section the the links dimension but if you double click on this and then you load the uh dimension the dimension mark this one load and then modify look what will happen 60 into 198 but but 198 this one is the exact value if you want to get the uh uh not i don't want the cc I want the CC target. Okay, remove. 
I want the CC target so that it will be 200. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know why this one is 198, but anyway, you can put this. Ah, sorry. Yeah, CC target is there. Eh? Anyway, you apply this one. Once you apply, then if you click on this one and then add dimension mark again, modify. So here, yeah, that one is the CC target now. So delete this one and then apply. Select this and then right click, add dimension mark. Then here you have now the CC 200 target. Okay, so that one is right click and then add dimension mark. But again, there's one new, uh, ah, here, here. Actually, this one is the new thing. If you click here, rebar, add rebar dimension mark. So if you pick, the, if you pick this rebar, see? You, you don't need to right click. Just simply click the rebar. Again, click this rebar. And then pick the uh, this one one two three. See, I already got this dimensions for the reinforcement, so you can easily add the dimensions for the reinforcement. And then for the pullout picture, I want you to work on this one rebar pullout picture and marking because here. The rebar pullout picture and marking uh, has a lot of options the, the way you want to present the rebar pullout picture. Okay? So now, this one will be our, see? This one will be our drawing. I have some, I have some setting on this one. Later on, I will just simply, I will... Uh, send you the, uh, what I call that, the, uh, the attributes, okay? Because I remember I have already the setting to the one that I create for you. So uh, I'm going to send you the, the uh, setup later. But actually this one is, see, it's quite good enough. And then uh, another thing here is, uh, where is the, where is the link? Where is the link? Where is the link? Uh, where is the... Ah, this one, see? This, this is for the link, right? Mm -hmm. If you double-click on this, if you double-click on this, actually, there is an, there is an option without, without using this, without using this one, huh? Uh, okay, without using this one, if I double-click on this view, this view, so look, the only thing is, uh, this one is a little bit messy if you add. So, you will notice here, group. Right? So, group, number, grade, diameter, position. So, number, grade, diameter, position. Correct? Now, if you want to add a pull-out picture here, pull-out picture, and then the factor is, let's say, 0.5, with a dimension, okay? With a dimension, and then modify okay so this one so meaning this pull out picture if i modify this view look what will happen each and every one will have this pull out picture see means the important things yes the only thing is a bit messy if you put everything here okay but uh, the only thing that you need to do, let's say for example, for this section, all you need to do is uh, select the things that you want. Let's say this one, uh, this one, and this one, and this one. This, this. So if I double click on this, and then add the pull out picture, and then here I say 0.3 dimension, click OK, and then modify. So look, only the selected. yeah, only the selected one. See, I have this one, and then this. Okay, 
maybe I need to change this one to this or sorry to this modify so that there will be a leader leader line see see much better right so you can choose which way you want to uh, to present in your reinforcement there's a lot of uh, different ways so one is using the application here one is using the the tag I think the tag is is good enough I think I, I use as I use this one as well in in your drawing last time you can make it straight see straight if you want you can uh, can put it there and then make it straight and then this one here yeah so relatively okay so this is the reinforcement okay so I want you to play a little bit in the reinforcement the, I've shown you the different uh, I mean there's there there will be no wrong way to do here huh? Because uh, all the options are there. If you just simply put this one, oops, uh, I want to change, then there's a lot of uh, options that you can, you can use until you reach the point that, uh, okay, this is what I want. Once you reach that one, then make it sure that you save it. Because once you save it, then you can load it and then use that one some other time. Okay? So I leave this one to you. For the meantime and after that you just go go through this one and then after that we are going to create the uh, sheet number three wherein uh, wherein I, I'm going to show you the uh, uh, only the section drawing section drawing wherein we can we can filter the the uh, what do you call that the non required Rebar only the required rebar will be shown in the section. Okay, so just uh, do this one. I will give you at least 20 minutes again to uh, to play with this uh, reinforcement. To uh, uh, paste this one, I, I have I'm going to copy these two. You can see here rebar bending schedule. This one is for the PDF. This one is for the report, not for the drawing. And then the other one is TSBBS. Okay, so I'm going to copy it here, paste these two. I want you to put this one on your model folder again, all right? So kindly put that one on your model folder, and then I'm going to show it to you how to add it. So I'm going to close the drawing first. The bar bending schedule. And, mm, uh, and then the uh, both three bar bending. Yes, sir. Dalawa sa BBS, BBS. BBS drawing properties and drawing layout editor. Okay, under the drawing layout editor. Uh, remember, remember, uh, as I've told you, for the mold drawing, you must have the, uh, you don't need to put a bar bending schedule. Okay, so let's say the, the first one that we create is for the mold. Then the next one, we create a new layout, and then we type here, con, con ink, uh, uh, Rebar block. Okay, and then here we put A1. Okay, you get it? So I I I put a new one, but this time I'm going to type here drawing block. Okay, and A1. Rebar block. Okay. Create a new one. So meaning this title block is for the reinforcement okay so create a1 right huh? do you want to save changes save 
Ah, sorry. What is this? Sorry, sorry. Create layout. Discard. Uh, conic. Ah, sorry. Discard. Conic. Uh, conic. Uh, rebar. Rebar. Rebar block. Ah, sorry. Where is that one? Sorry, yeah. Cash unit, conic rebar, where is the conic rebar block? No, wala. Okay, again. Let me close it again, ah. Something like, uh, Discard. Ah, uh, discard. Okay, again. Drawing layout. Then, uh, create new layout. So, conic rebar, uh, block. A1. Okay. Oh, maybe I will put block one and then create. Okay. So now this is the one. Then I put here. So now A1. So table, add table. Again, you go for the table conic block table. All right. And then put that one on the uh, corner. And then next is the uh, TS. Look for the TSBBS here. TSBBS. Uh, first, you need to add the title block. Add your title block, the conic title block. Here, this one, huh? add this one first. Oh. Because that one will be our reference for the. So now, after adding this one, okay, look for the TSBBS, huh? TSBBS, the one that I gave you now. So click on that one and then put it here. See this one? Click here. Okay, this one. I think I need to. I think I need to move this one. Move this point to this point. Something like this. I hope this one works this way. Yeah, yeah, something like this. Okay, so look, TSBBS. And then close, and then save us to rebar block one, save. And then close layout. Editor. See bus, rebound black one. Yeah. See, but then close mm. editor. Okay. Okay. Now, go to the drawing documents. And then, drawing documents. documents. Okay. Go to this portal frame rebar. Portal frame rebar. Okay. So this. This one, ah. Huh? Page two, right? Page two. Page two. So the page two is for what? For reinforcement. Okay. Double click on the view properties, and then under the layout, I want you to change this one to conic rebar block, and then here A one, and then save that one to the drawing, rebar drawing, and then modify. And that's it, see? Is there a way to go on this one? Your properties? This one? Double click. As in unit properties. Then this one. This one. Double click mo lang sa atin. Hindi mo yata na-save yun. Yung ba yung rebar natin? Yung rebar natin? Oh, sige, sige. Nakilipot ako na yung turn yun. Okay, sige, sige. Double click mo lang. Pag bago yun. Ito? Ito? Hindi, hindi. Ito, hindi ba? Ito, hindi ba? Ito, hindi ba? Ito, hindi ba? Ayan. Punta ka sa sa mga ito. 
double click go to title para matching mo sa sarili mo title oh ito pala eh no 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 title oh and then change mo sa sarili mo ah then diba 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 and then ito diba then gawin mo siyang isave mo sa sarili mo Yeah. Para meron ka ng mode, meron ka ng mode. Yeah, same. same. Yes. And then punta ko ngayon sa layout. 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 Ayon sa 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 layout. Ayon And then modify. Yeah, lagi lagi tama kita sini. Yeah, dah. Meron ada sang okay. Meron ada sang dapat nari. Ayo, ayo lagi. Ayo lang. Pumunta sih sa taas, kase. Ah, yung yung point mo dapat na imbung mo siapa baba. Okay. To, atau sah. Para to edit that one. You need to, ano? You need to. Di to kase. Meron ada sang right click and then open layout editor. So, ngayon, ang gagawin mo lang yan. This move. one to move here. Ah, yes, sorry. Ito, 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 move mo to. Ayan, move mo siya dito. Ayan. Uh, and then, well. Ayan, yun na yung reflex. So, pag close mo siya, save. Kaya lang, ang problem mo, ito, ililipat ka naman. Hindi lang ililipat, pwede mo siyang palitan ng scale. Oo, sa scale. Pero nakita mo yan, ano, yung bar bending schedule. Hindi na ko kita na ito. Okay. So, you notice the bar bending schedule. So, do you think if you have this bar bending schedule, do you need to have the pull out picture here? Let's say, look, 60, 10, 43. So if I go to this 43, this is 43. So no need for you to because okay, the reason why some of your drawing has a pull out picture. Remember, those drawing was created during the time that you are doing the AutoCAD. But the the system now is different. The system we have a tecla structure that you really don't need to do the pull out picture on each and every marking here. Because it will be a redundancy. Here, if you if you see that there is a, something like a value here, let's say 40. What is this 40? You go to the 40, and that's the 40. See, this is the total. This is the. You get it? Yeah. So that's that's how you you use the bar bending schedule. So how to make the thing bigger? This one. Yeah. If you want to make that one, if you want to make this one bigger, okay. Again, look. If you, if you right click, if you select this one, right click and then open layout editor. Open layout editor. Yeah. So look. You will notice here it selects the it selected the TSBBS. Yeah. Or you put here scale. Let's say one point seventy five. Okay, done. And then close. Save. So this one is for... Yes, you're right. Because the one that we have added is for A3. So, enable for you to, to make it bigger, you type that... Uh, you, you multiply that one to 1.75 and then that one will be A1. <coughs> so... See, is it nicer, right? Okay. So, and the good thing with this one, ah, the good thing with this one, your drawing will not be congested. Your drawing will not be congested. But anyway, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if the uh, unlike, uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, unlike the the HDB, I don't know in in this bridge thing. Is is uh, is the R is the LTA is something like uh, 
interfering in your uh, drawing shop drawing, shop drawing uh, presentation mm. see because the HDB is different <laughs> HDB they will interfere for your shop drawing interpretation oh. even the even the redundancy they will they want you to, to put this uh, okay this oh. dimension I need this dimension even though that one is a uh, for the publication it's not it's DB. that's needed HDB yes so in this case if you're the one who will uh, decide for your drawing presentation you can make this one uh, easier and better presentation because you have the option at the moment we're following the the uh, the presentation that uh, the Projalma, Projalma presentation is, yeah. which is I, I don't know if that one is uh, necessary but uh, at the moment we're following that one mm -hmm. but later on you can decide let's say for example you create the the next the next uh, uh, set of of this portal print so I mean you decide on your own using the uh, the software uh, utilize utilize the automatic way of using the the software because if you are going to use the software and then yet you are going to use the uh, the auto the AutoCAD way of representing it and then you will just lose the uh, uh, you you just waste the capability of the software I mean provided that you are the one who decide the presentation or if you can uh, uh, if you can something like uh, I mean, influence the consultant. Hey, this is the presentation which is better for for our ship, uh, for our uh, factory. Then it's well and good. Okay, so I hope this one is. Uh, I hope this one is clear. All right. Now, uh, the next thing is if I want to show only the. Uh, the section in the next drawing what shall we do okay if i want to show the the section another sheet of drawing another sheet of drawing we have two sheets already huh? yeah so now the next sheet is this one okay let me close this one okay look this time this time i'm not going to copy the to another sheet but i'm going to set up the drawing sheet number three how? Look, go to the cash unit drawing, and then here I'm going to load the mold. Uh, sorry, I'm going to load the rebar drawing, rebar drawing. But rebar, I'm going to load the rebar drawing. But this time, I will put here section, section drawing, save, and then my layout must be the the first one, the mold the conic cu okay because i don't want to i don't want to put the bar bending schedule here that's the, that's why there is that's the reason why i choose the uh con ink uh, cash unit and then a1 remember uh, our title block could be for mold drawing could be for reinforcement drawing or could be for section drawing remember that one and then uh, under the view creation okay look say ba uh, under the view creation, I'm going to show only the front view, which is the top view will be off, and then uh, the top view will be off. Okay, I'm going to turn off also my section view because I want to create my own section view. Clear? Yeah. All right, then apply. Oh, sorry. Go to the title and then change this one to three, and then portal frame sections, and then save. Don't forget to save so that you can use that one later. Then the, the drawing sheet number should be sheet number three. Okay, save. apply. Save and apply. Then okay. Apply and apply and then okay so now select again this beam select the beam right click and then create drawing cast unit drawing okay there we go so that's it
So now one drawing created successfully, very quick because because you have only front view. That's why it's quick, right? This one. Now, for this, okay, yeah. Huh? You cannot see the drawing. See one drawing created. Yeah, it's here. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Drawing number three. Drawing number two. Okay. Okay, look. Since this, this since we are talking about the section, so if you notice here, the this one is one is two, twenty five. For the section view, we can we can make it one is to fifteen or one is to ten, right? Bigger, bigger, yes. So first drawing. Okay, look. Um, I'm going to use the go go to the view, go to this view, and then under this view, go to the section view. Double click the section view. All right. Remember, remember you have this. Con portal section view, right? Select that one. Con section view. Yes. Con section view. Con section view. <coughs> okay. And then, uh, once you open this con section view, and then here, con rebar mark. <coughs> open the con rebar mark. As long, uh, I mean, as long as you you save that one earlier, then you can call it. But if not, then it's okay. All right, then apply. Ah, oh, sorry. Where is it? Uh, go to the reinforcement mark. And then load, load the, the one that you saved earlier. Yes. And then save. Okay, now, uh, I want you to go to this uh, attribute and then change this one to 15 and then apply. Don't save, but apply. Apply and OK. All right. So look. Now, section. I'm going to click here one, two, and then here, and then here. Right? So I will put it here. So this one is the section. Yes. See, this one is my first section. Okay, because I use the section, there is a dimension. But don't worry about the dimension. You can, you can always delete this dimension if you like. Okay, and then the next section is this section view here. And then put it here. Okay, so this one is good. This one is good. If you want to keep this dimension, then you, you keep it. Now, the only thing here is, because this one is a uh, uh, section, and then we need to put the, the reinforcement, then you can just simply double-click on this, and then show all the reinforcement. Here, under the reinforcement, Ah, sorry, under the reinforcement, then tick off this one, modify. All right. Same thing with this one. So tick off and then modify. Now, if you want to remove, if you want to remove the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, if you want to remove the, the dimension, again, go to this dimensioning and then here, you just simply delete this row and then modify so now you can remove it can you make another one for the section as well another okay. section create the section okay so apply and okay so now look i'm going to click on this section 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 view okay and then from here section view and then from here oh. one two that one is the the limit and then you click here so look 
Here, there you go. And then, if you look, if this section, if you want this section to be only, uh, okay, I will go to the reinforcement, and this one, instead of person last, I will put all, modify. All right? See? A lot, right? It's a lot. So in this case, if you want to, uh, uh, if you want only to show the main bar here without the links, okay, only the main bar, double click on this one, double click, and then here, you can see here the, the filter, okay, the filter, and then add row, okay, add row, if the reinforcement, if the reinforcing bar name is equals to select from the drawing or multi-select from the drawing, meaning I can select this one, I can select this one, and then I can select uh, this sidebar, sidebar, okay, and then middle button of your mouse. So look, here, if I modify this, it will show only the main bar and then the sidebar. So it's clean up. Correct? It's clean up. Now, if you want to have another section, cancel this one. So if you want to have another section, let's say here, section here. So this time, I'm going to uh, uh, to show only the the, link, the sidebar and the links, okay? So here, I will turn off this one, modify. Okay, look. Here, I'm going to show only the, I will again select, multi-select drawing. I want to show only this one, uh, this, 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 and this link. And then also this. Okay, and then middle button of your mouse and then modify. So, not, not much of the, uh, because uh, I just simply deselect the, uh, the main bar, so not much of the changes. But again, see, I have this view, I have this view, and it's clearly shown in the drawing. So your drawing, you can clean up, uh, you can clean the drawing as you like. It's a matter of doing the, uh, the, the sectioning here and then do the, uh, the filtering. See? So now I have this, this drawing for the sections. Right? And the good thing here is if you print this one, this one, the, uh, this drawing outside the drawing box will not be printed. The only thing printed will be the one inside the, the drawing. So that's the that's our drawing. Okay, so kindly uh, again continue working, and then uh, then how to print the drawing? You just print like this. Yeah. So here, how to print? I just go to this uh, print drawing. Okay. Directly. So okay. you can uh, I you can print to PDF <coughs> if you like at the moment. So if you click this one, it will be the preview. This one is the preview, and then here if you click. Uh, PDF file, then it will print to PDF. Then if you click on the uh, printer, then you choose you choose the printer. You choose the printer. So this one is fit to paper. There you go. So here, fit to paper. 
and then select the printer. But at the moment, since you don't have the uh, connection to the printer, you just click on the PDF and then click here, print. So now, done. It's already printed and this is your drawing. See? Wait, I cannot see my drawing. You just click that one. Yeah. Yeah. Click that. Oh, 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 this one. I close this one. Okay, this one. Wow. Okay. So, if you want to print the, uh, the, uh, if you want to print to PDF with, uh, with a, with a black and white, okay, and then print. So, here. You need to close this one and then print again. Okay. Okay, okay. So this is a black and white. And again, for the line types, ah, here there's a line properties. You can uh, change the line uh, line types. Again, the baseline width is 0.1. Then uh, you need to put this one to 0.01, and then the uh, uh, the definition of this one is whatever the value you put here, multiply by this baseline width. And then that is the actual uh, millimeter. Scale yes, actual to, to, to scale to, to actual millimeter. So if you put this one 1.1, then you can put here uh, 20, 30, because 30 times 0.001, that's the, millim that's the millimeter thickness. Okay, let me try to print to to our printer here. Let me see if I can print here. Properties uh, A3 landscape. Let's see if I can print. So that you can see the print as well. Okay. Again, I will repeat so that it will be recorded. So here, if you want this one to be uh, uh, filled. filled, so from here, just double click on the, uh, open the view properties, the viewport. So here, now at the moment it's double line. You can put a single line, yes. You know that single, single line is the fastest one because it's only one line. Then you have the uh, double line with, with filled, field end and then also the field field line so field line is something like a solid line as you can see here now you will notice as well that this one if if the first and last is here so you can see that there is no rebar here so better to put here uh, all modify yeah so you can see all the reinforcement which is nicer see you can see the uh, the rebar This one, I'm doing the clone. So select the model, select this uh, PC one, and then click the clone. All right. So again, it could be not hundred percent because it's different profile or the, uh, different length. But uh, you can see, you can see the difference, and then you can just simply uh, work onto the things that not copied. But let's see. Oh look, look at this. Now, look at this one. Why, why this one doesn't have the line here? Because, remember, we removed the cut. So this oh, one, wow. you can extend here. And then you can extend here. Right? Uh, uh, uh. Or, or, this one, I can, also, I can also move like this. See? You can move the, you can move the section if you like. And look, I don't need to re I don't need to repeat the same thing. Eh? See, all the same. All the see, twelve thousand, twelve thousand. Then see, look at this one, thirteen thousand. Because I remove the cut, or I extend the beam. Now, that one is one. Huh? Next is again, select this, select. 
portal frame rebar, and then clone. Unfortunately, you need you can you, you can only clone one by one. You cannot clone the together. together. But good enough. Good enough. Okay. Yeah. yeah, because you need to you need because to check. Like, what I have to draw using optical slope. Yeah, you need to check first. Okay, so and then PC two. Then I'll select this one. PC three and then clone selected. <coughs> All right, so close it. PC for two. Rebar. Yeah, there you go. Yes, of course. Look at this one. 12,820. Earlier, this one is 11,820, correct? So the only thing is, of course, this one will be, will will move a little bit, and here, see. Now let's see the the section. I'm not sure about the section. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Same. This one now is, see, no cut, and here. Palos, quite good. All right, so can you uh, try that one and then, okay, try that one and then uh, we will do the report. Okay, this is the one that I'm trying to say that for the cloning. Now, after this, we're going to do the report. Okay. Let's do the report. Okay, this one is a very important but, but part. My my computer are hanging. Uh, report. Okay. Anyway, you can you, you can uh, follow that one later. Okay. What is report? Okay. Look. If you press Control B, as in boy, or you can you can click this one. Create report. Here there are there are some uh, predefined report. Okay. These are the predefined report. Maybe you can use. Maybe uh, maybe it's a. Uh, 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 what do you call that? The report that uh, the default report here can be used for your project. Then you can use it. But if not, then you can still modify this one. But again, the <coughs> the creation of the template and the report is more on the advanced training. But uh, at the moment, we're going to use the default one. Okay. So the first one is okay. Look. If I go to the to this model, uh, then I say create cast unit part list. Select cast unit part list and then create from all. One click of a bot button, I have already the all cast unit. And then I can say, okay, this is the total volume of the concrete. Total volume of the concrete is 236 cubic meter. Imagine. If you do this one manually, one click, you can, you can how it. how you're going to even even let's say for example this uh, this part? Can you give me the total volume of this this part? How many minutes it will take for you to do it manually? Wherein for me, I can just simply select and then here I have a forty cubic meter, right? <laughs> and then. Uh, if you're talking about the cash unit rebar list, okay, let, let me just select this one. Some of this has the rebar. Huh? So, of course, uh, if I select this one and then create from selected cash unit rebar list. So, here it will tell me, okay, this B8, these are the reinforcement needed. This B10, these are the reinforcement needed for B10. Uh, for, for C5, these are the reinforcement needed. And so on. Here, C7, this one is a tapered one. Okay, you can easily get that reinforcement. Now, uh, if I select these two, these two, and then create from selected. So look. So PC1, these are all the reinforcement needed for PC1. 
PC4, these are all the reinforcement needed for PC4. And also that is the total weight of the of the portal beam. Volume? Volume is here. 51. The other one is 44. Because it's smaller. Yeah. Okay? Not only that. Remember the one that I gave you? The rebar schedule. Uh, rebar schedule, uh, what do you call that? PDF. PDF. So meaning, if you select this rebar bending schedule A4 PDF. Okay, look. If I go to this option, okay, go to this option, and then report with associated viewer. So meaning it will open to the PDF file. And then I'm going to select, maybe I'll delete this one. I'm going to select these two, and then create from selected. So look what will happen. Automatically, it will create a PDF file with the bar bending schedule. Uh -huh. Okay, it's creating the report. Let's see. I hope you copy that one on your model folder. Because... Uh, so every time, right? The one every time, if we create model, we have to copy this? At the moment, yes, at the moment. At the moment. But uh, later on, when we do the uh, advanced training, it's more on the customization. We can put that one on one location. Mm. And here, see? It's nice, right? No need to argue with you, Is it? Uh, well, yeah, we need to deduct this one, deduct this one. It show the proof. Yeah, sometimes also when or, 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 Position number 36, diameter 32. Number means the quantity, 18 pieces of, of T, grade T, grade T length. length. And then this is the weight per piece. <coughs> oh, and the then one that included the one that the, the, the crank, right? Because we draw straight, correct? The? The cranking. Ah, no, no, it's not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet there. Because we did not do that one here. Okay. So here you have the total weight. Meaning, this 1659 uh, is the uh, 92 times 18. Correct? Yeah. Nice. And then this one is located to, belongs to? PC1. PC1. This one belongs to? PC4. PC1, PC4. Okay? So here. Always a zero. There's always a given. <laughs> you can you can keep this uh, this report because it's not part of the uh, uh, the uh, what the insulation package in Tecla structure. Oh. Oh, it's not, it's not, what? It's not included? No, I mean, it's not part. When you install the, the Tecla structure, oh, yeah, this yeah, one yeah, is yeah, not yeah. there. The that's part, that's the, the reason why, the PDF that's PDF. the reason why I, I give this one to you because um, one of my, my colleague in, in Finland mm. created this one and then give, really given, to, given to me. So, so after the QS, no more. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Concrete volume is there, rebar is there, mm. you know. That's very easy with the other for that. You can open this one. Yeah, this one. This one, make, create this one. This one always do the. You know? Everything You always do tender. Okay, so look look at this one. Huh? I hope this one still works. So as you can see here, uh, see, I will rename this one. I'll put this one as Tecla Rebar HTML. Okay. Copy. And then here, paste. Okay. So... So now, if you go to this uh, report, 
and then you type here tecla vbar html make it sure that this one is with associated viewer okay so it's your associated viewer then now this one is for checking purposes so if you click this one and then create from selected ah okay so this one see this one is just for checking purposes if i select this and then create from selected See, I can see the, uh, this one is rebar number, uh, then this one, create from selected. It will only create one, one at the time, because the, I, I just uh, simply put that one as, uh, as one. So, this one, and then create from selected, just for checking purposes. See, I have the... Rebar number 39. If I, if I select, I, I remember if I select, yeah. select 2. No, it, it will only do one, one reinforcement at a time. Because this one, again, as I've told you, is for checking. You see? HTML file.